Hey you guys, Cece back with another video. In today's video, as you can see from the title, is going to be another declutter. here with the declutters you guys if you've missed any of my declutter videos make sure you tap that I somewhere at the top of your screen and I will put the entire playlist so you never miss one I love doing declutters because I do purchase a lot of makeup and sometimes I just need to declutter my life so I'm on another decluttering binge we've already done eyeshadows foundations um, concealers primers we've done a lot so make sure you tap that I and check out the playlist but now we are on to face powders and I am definitely a face powder junkie as with everything else so you guys know the deal pause this video right now and leave a comment down below letting me know how many face powders you think I have now keep in mind this is not all of them these are just the pressed powders we have loose powders also down below me on the floor so let me know how many you think i have how many face powders in total did you guess are you guys ready in total i have 65 face powders again that includes pressed powders as well as loose powders so i think 65 is an astronomical number it would be nice to break that down half um I don't know if I'm gonna be able to do that, but we'll see how that goes. I really wanna get this down to like 33 powders maximum. Maximum is what I want. So if we're gonna hit that goal, I don't know. Let's just go ahead and get started. Okay, so I have a lot of powders here that I seriously do not want to get rid of. So I feel like this is going to take a lot of determination and dedication in order to hit my goal or even get close to my goal. I think what I'm going to do here is separate some of these powders. So all of my banana powders, let's see, all of my pressed banana powders, I don't think I have that many. I have this one by Makeup Forever. This is their Ultra HD banana powder. I have this one which is a little deeper from Ulta that I really love and as you can see it does have the sticker on it which means it's a part of my project pan for 2019. So I'm definitely going to keep that one because I want to use that up. But I also have this banana powder by Makeup Revolution. It's the Bacon Blot Banana Deep Powder and it is a newer one that I just got. And these are actually all different colors too which, oh my gosh, it makes me wanna keep all of them. Shoot. I'm gonna keep all of them for now. I may go back in and declutter a little more, but I'm gonna keep all of them for now. Next I have this one right here. This is the Makeup Revolution Bacon Black Powder, and this one's in the shade Peach. I never even opened this. I never even broke the seal on it, so I'm gonna go ahead and list this on my Poshmark because I'm never gonna use this powder right here. A peach powder that I will keep though is, ugh, do I need this? This is the Too Faced Peach Blur Powder and I like it. I just don't know if I pick it up enough to keep it. Uh, I think we can go ahead and get rid of this one. Another one that I don't use very often is this Urban Decay Naked Skin, what is this? Naked Skin Ultra Definition Powder Foundation. It's in the shade Medium Dark Golden and I just don't reach for it very often so I'm gonna let this one go as well. This CoverGirl True Blend Powder, I did really like it. It was like super mattifying, but I just have so many powders that I like a little better, so I'm gonna let this one go. Okay, here's where we get tough. Let's see, for powder foundations, I have this Tarte Powder Foundation. I have, is this a powder? Or, this is just a powder. I have this Kat Von D powder foundation and I do use powder foundations also to set my makeup I just want to say that not just as powder foundations I have this Mac studio fix this um, opal black opal true color powder foundation what else do we have here um, I have the Maybelline Superstay powder foundation and I have two of those because I don't have an exact color in that and then I have this bare minerals powder foundation so I have one two three four five six seven powder foundations 
how many of these do I really, really need? This one actually looks kind of dark. This Bare Minerals one. Oh yeah, that's way too deep for me. Why do I even have that? So I can go ahead and get rid of this one right off of the bat. Okay, that leaves me with six. I love this powder, but I hate that I have to mix them. I definitely am keeping this. I just bought this, just did a powder foundation routine with this, and I love it. So I'm going to go ahead and take that out of the running because I'm going to keep that. Um, my MAC Studio Fix, my Kat Von D, Black Opal. I'll get rid of this Black Opal True Color. I'll let that one go, and I'll keep the MAC, the Kat Von D, and then the Maybelline as well. You guys, this is going all bad here. Let's get on a good note. I'm gonna get rid of this Laura Mercier Candle Glow Sheer Perfecting Powder. It's in the shade number five, and I just really don't like this powder, so I'm gonna let that go. But I am going to keep the other one, and this is the Translucent Pressed Setting Powder in Medium Deep, so I'm gonna keep that. Okay, Charlotte Tilbury. I definitely wanna keep the Charlotte Tilbury Magic Powder. Um, I do like it, so I'm going to keep that one. I also have these two Hourglass little mini powders. I want to keep this one in dim light, but this one in radiant light, I just don't really use. I think I might have used it once or twice, so I'm going to let that go as well. My Sephora Micro Smooth Powder, you guys know this is a favorite of mine, so I'm keeping it. I also want to keep my MAC Mineralized Skin Finish in Medium Deep. I feel like these are honestly dupes of each other to be, I don't even need both of these. I honestly feel like they're dupes of each other. They are. I'm going to get rid of the MAC and I'm going to keep the Sephora. I actually have been just loving the Sephora and I'll get rid of the MAC. All right, I got rid of my other Urban Decay powder, but I'm going to keep this one. This is the All Nighter, like, mattifying powder, and it's really good. So I'm keeping that. Um, shoot, this is the e.l.f. finishing powder. I want to keep this for now. I'm going I'm to keep this for now. Down to the last four, I'm going to let go of this Wonder 2 Perfect Selfie powder. This stuff was actually really mattifying, but I just never eat. Ooh. It's super soft. I just broke it apparently, so I'm just gonna throw that away. <laughs> All right, Milani. This is their Conceal and Perfect powder, and then I have this Black Up Matte Definition powder, and then I have this BH Cosmetics Studio Pro powder. So I absolutely love the BH. I'm gonna keep that. I think I'm going to keep the Milani and I'll let go of this black up powder because I never really use it. All right, you guys. So now we have switched over to loose powders. Now, this is where it gets a little crazy. This one actually makes me very nervous. I love my loose powders even more than my pressed powders. And I don't know how I'm going to get rid of any of these, but we are going to do we're going to do our best. OK, we will do our best. So. Let's pull out some that I know I definitely want to keep. And I know these two for sure. I have them in my project pan. It's the Cover FX Translucent Light Powder as well as the Becca Hydra Mist Powder. I love both of these and I'm gonna try to use these up this year. Next, I know I'm keeping my Laura Mercier Translucent Powder. It has the pretty holiday packaging. Definitely keeping that. Along with my Fenty Beauty Powder in Honey. I love, 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 love this face powder. Okay, let's see. I know I can get rid of this Maybelline Fit Me Deep Powder. I just never, ever reach for this, so there's no need for me to keep it. I'm going to go ahead and let that go. I think I'm also going to, yeah, I'm going to let go of this Cover FX Setting Powder. This one's in the shade Light, and I don't even know why I got this powder. I'm going to let that go, along with this Innisfree No Sebum Mineral Powder that I got from Amazon. Good powder, I just don't use it, don't need it. Okay, this is a newer powder for me. It's the Stila In The Buff Powder Spray. I'm going to keep that for now. I've actually really been liking this, so I'm going to keep this. 
Then I have two Too Faced powders here. Now, I love both of these powders. Do I need them both? No. So by the end of this, I'm gonna get rid of one of them. The Peach Perfect is the super mattifying powder, and it's nice because it's really matte, but underneath my eyes, I don't need something so matte. Ah, uh, and then uh, this one's like perfect though. This ethereal setting powder. Okay, I'll get rid of the peach perfect and I'll keep the ethereal. You guys, I think I'm gonna go ahead and get rid of this Fenty Beauty Banana Powder. It's just so big and bulky and I don't feel like I need this banana powder because I do have so many others that I love and this one was just okay. So I'm gonna go ahead and let this one go. I can also let go of this Sephora Bright Set Powder. This is a super yellow banana powder. It's just like really, really yellow. And I just, I don't like the color of it, so I'm gonna let that go as well. A banana powder that I will be keeping though is this Cinema Secrets Ultra Lucent Setting Powder, and it's in the shade Soft Custard. So it's just like a really slight yellow tint, and it's really, really pretty up under the eyes. I'm also going to keep this pretty vulgar setting powder. I'm going to keep this Charlotte Tilbury magic powder and I'm going to keep this hourglass veil translucent powder as well. Okay, let's see. I can get rid of this. What is this? This is the Wouter um, by Glossier. I just never reach for this. There's no need for me to keep it. So I'm going to let that go. I'm also going to let go of the Sasha Buttercup Powder. I've had this for a while and I just don't like the color of it. It's a little deep, um, deeper than I would like for a setting powder up under my eyes. So I'm going to let that go. A setting powder that I used to love but I just never reached for is the RCMA No Color Powder. I think I can finally let this go also. Okay, we're actually doing okay here. I'm going to keep this Milk Makeup Translucent Powder. I'm going to keep that one. I'm also going to keep this Lancome Translucent Silky Loose Powder as well. I need to make sure I'm keeping some drugstore powders also. So I'm going to keep this NYX Set It Don't Fret It Powder. I actually really love this stuff. We're going to keep that and this ColourPop. Ugh. I have two of them. I have banana and translucent and I love mixing these two. You know what? They're small so they don't take up a lot of space so I can keep these. That's fine. I will get rid of this Makeup Forever Ultra HD loose powder. It's just like a little sample and I'm not going to use it so I'm going to let it go. Oh, you know what? I am going to get rid of the NYX Set It Don't Fret It because I forgot I had the Can't Stop Won't Stop. So I can let the Set It Don't Fret It go and then I'll keep the Can't Stop Won't Stop. Makeup Forever. This is their Super Matte Loose Powder. I actually really love this powder. I might add this to my project pan because this is like mostly gone. So I'm going to go ahead and keep that. Oh, what else do we have here? I have this Marc Jacobs Finish Line Perfecting Coconut Setting Powder, which, oh my gosh, I hardly ever use this. Uh, I'm going to go ahead and list this on my Poshmark. I just, I hardly ever use it, so I'm not going to keep it. This Laura Mercier Translucent Glow Setting Powder. I haven't gotten much use out of it. I'm going to keep it for now and see if I use it like throughout the summer months. And if I don't, then I'll declutter it at that time. I can get rid of this Kat Von D Lock It Brightening Powder. Just don't use it, don't need it, so I'm going to let that go. But I will be keeping this MAC and Patrick Star Setting Powder. It's so pretty. I'm also going to be keeping this MAC Studio Fix Perfecting Powder in the loose version as well. Keeping the Tarte Shape Tape Loose Powder, I'm going to keep that. I can get rid of this Black Opal Deluxe Finishing Powder. It's just so big and chunky and I hardly ever reach for it, so I'm gonna let it go. Oh gosh, four left. Two by Urban Decay and two by Beauty Bakery. I actually used up quite a bit of this Beauty Bakery Banana Powder and this translucent powder Ooh, let's keep the banana and i'll get rid of the translucent last two are the urban decay naked skin ultra definition loose finishing powder i never reach for this but for some reason i feel like i need to keep it and i also have the urban decay velvetizer as well i'm going to keep both of these for now
right y'all so here are all of the powders that we are getting rid of today let's go ahead and count them up so when I went to go switch from pressed powders to loose powders with you guys I actually ended up finding another powder and it's a brand new Maybelline super stay full coverage foundation I definitely don't need three of them I already kept the two so I'm gonna go ahead and get rid of this but that brings our total powder count up to 66 and right here in front of me I have 27 powders that I am getting rid of and that leaves us with 39. So I didn't quite hit my goal of 30, what did I say, 33? I didn't quite hit my goal of 33, but I don't know, maybe as I'm putting them away, I'll comb through them again and see if I wanna get rid of any more. But for now, we're gonna, we're gonna stick with the 39 powders. I think that's really good, considering we started with 66. So I'm getting rid of a Laura Mercier, CoverGirl, Urban Decay, Makeup Forever, Sasha Buttercup, uh, Marc Jacobs, Beauty Bakery, uh, Too Faced, Makeup Revolution, MAC, Black Opal, Maybelline, Another Black Opal, RCMA, Cover FX, Innisfree, Sephora, Fenty, Maybelline, Kat Von D, Black Up, Wonder 2, uh, Bare Minerals, Hourglass, Wowder, NYX, and another Too Faced. So we're getting rid of, again, 27 powders out of the 66. So I think we did pretty well. That's almost, almost half. Thank you guys so much for rocking with me through this declutter series. We still have so many more videos coming. So make sure you guys thumbs up this video if you like declutters and also make sure you're subscribed so you don't miss the ones coming up. I love you guys so, so much. Thank you so much for watching and supporting my channel and I'll talk to you in the next video. Bye guys.